with the increasing level of poverty in the country, the care for the Almajiris became overwhelmingly burdensome for the Malams, who were left with no choice but to send these little boys out to beg from the goodwill of the society. To make ends meet, some of these malams began to impose on the Almajiris what is called Kutlinsati or Kutlinlaraba, a form of weekly fees for the lessons he taught them. They were reassured that to beg was better than to steal. These boys swam into the society with no bearing, moving from street to street, house to house, vehicle to vehicle. They were everywhere, markets, car parks, restaurants, university gates, name it. They became a burden as well as nuisance to the society. They sang, backed and prayed, appealing to the mercy and goodwill of the people. It's really sad when you see these almajiris hungry, malnourished, winded, rushing for flies infested leftover food, searching through trash cans for little morsels just to stay alive. They are living under deplorable conditions. They don't have food, they don't have this and they don't have that. They consume all kinds of foods, fresh or stale. Their common food called gajala, which is stored by an almajiri over a number of days, is a combination of locally made corn food to pasta and boiled yam all together in one bowl like a fresh vomit. From their appearance too, they rarely take their bath. It is surprising, however, to see that they rarely fall sick. Lots of medical doctors say that the condition under which these street urchins live makes them to develop a very strong immunity to illnesses and diseases.